Every year, so I facilitate what has been um, a faculty and staff book club about race and racism. Um, done that since I guess spring of 2018, and just this um, fall, sort of pivoted to it's an art club now, anti-racist teaching club. And so I've incorporated hypothesis into that to provide a space for maybe individuals who can't make it to our physical or our Zoom meetings, so that they can see and read these articles about you know, anti-racist pedagogy and, and teaching strategies, even though they can't come. Um, it hasn't quite, there are a couple um, individuals, what, the one of them was a student in my art and science of teaching class, so she's familiar with it. So it's still, you know, I think there's a little bit of a learning curve, so hopefully that takes off um, and they faculty see the benefit, not just in learning the stuff of the article, but in the community that that can, um, that that can facilitate because that's what's been missing. We don't have those hallway conversations. We don't have the workroom, you know, chit chat, the debrief or the, you know, the counseling session that you might have with your colleague. So it's been a lot of isolation um, and that's made it extra, extra heavy. Um, but I, I will say a, um, a warm fuzzy moment um, happened Friday. So my race power privilege um, and health course meets on Fridays. And we've been talking about taking care of ourselves and self-care, especially as we talk about really difficult things. And so when we were doing our check-ins for the morning, one of the students shared um, that she found this Epsom salt um, that was life-changing and she did a soak and it was just amazing in how it changed her, 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 her life that week. Um, and she talked about how hypothesis was such a part in helping her connect with her classmates, so much so that she bought a bag of the Epsom salt for each student in the class so that they could share this self-care moment where she was able to like decompress and all of that. So I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to share this with the, the liquid margins people uh, because like the power of that um, beyond what I could have imagined, so.